Hey guys, I'm here with John, also known as JVC. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Awesome. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do exactly? Wow, okay. Well, I'm the general manager for Victory Games, so I oversee all the production of the game and hiring of the people and the budget, and I spend a lot of time on the game design, just about everything. Wow, very big role, very cool role at that. So why don't you tell us about the free-to-play with Command & Conquer? I never would have imagined that, but I think it's really cool. Can you explain that a little bit and also why you guys decided to go with the Generals universe? Sure, so free-to-play is really kind of the way of the future for PC games, at least that's the way we think. And we're really excited about making this a game service because we can add to the game on a daily basis, we can uh, tweak it, we can take the player feedback. And just being a live game is the way to go and free-to-play is the way that uh, really works. And as far as the, uh, the Generals universe, of course, that's the number one ask from our fans has been build us another Generals game. So with this new platform, this new engine, we decided Generals was the first one we wanted to do. That's awesome. I'm personally a huge fan of this because I've been a fan of Generals forever and I also love free to play. I love games that are constantly updated, so this is perfect. And one thing that I think is really neat is the Frostbite engine. Everyone thinks Battlefield, so how exactly does that work with Command and Conquer? Oh, it's really cool to be able to use such a great technology like Frostbite and bring it to uh, an RTS game. No one's done that before. We get all the benefits of the beautiful graphics, all the destructible environments, and all the physics that goes on. It's really cool, and to add that to an RTS uh, gameplay, it's like no other. Yeah, it looks great, so I think it's awesome. So what about... What about the experience? Command & Conquer, there's a lot of Generals fans out there, so what are they going to get out of it? And also, what new experiences in the Command & Conquer Generals universe are we going to expect out of this? Well, absolutely, we focused on we want it to feel like a Generals game. And if anyone comes to the show or plays the game or come to the beta and play it, we want you to come away thinking, yeah, this plays like Generals. So, and then, taking what was really cool in Zero Hour in terms of the expansion of we touched on using Generals. Now we've really gone deep into all these new generals. Each one has its own player powers, specific units, different tech trees. So every time you play the game with a different general, she'll feel a little bit different. So we're obviously all fans of the generals universe, but what about all the other Command & Conquer universes? Will we see them in this free-to-play model? Absolutely. That's been our plan as a live service, is we'll bring back the Tiberium universe, the Red Alert universe, and maybe even a new universe we're not talking about yet. A new one? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. So. Updates. Free to play is great because of the updates. How often can we expect to see updates? Oh, absolutely. That's part of the plan as a service. So every week there should be some updates. There'll be uh, new units and new generals every month, new maps, new map modes. So we'll be special events on weekends. It's really going to be a lot of fun. Fantastic. Keeping it fresh, keeping it awesome. There you have it. Thanks so much, JVC, and thank you guys for watching.